Hey everybody, welcome back to my shop. And today, I figured we'd continue on the natural edge theme and turn this little winged bowl. But please remember, this is not an instructional video, it is for entertainment purposes only, and your safety is your responsibility. Well, let's get started. The wood we're going to use for this project is this piece of Amur maple. I had cut the tree down last year, and then I cut some of the logs in half and sealed up the end grain with paint to prevent any checking or cracking from occurring. Next thing we have to do is just mill it to length on the bandsaw, then we can drill a hole so we can mount it onto our screw chuck. I've chiseled away some of the bark and brought up a live center for some extra support. We're going to start with a gouge with a really swept back grind because it removes material quite efficiently. Tool rest is set at 45. If the tool rest was too parallel, then the wood would want to pull the tool in too perpendicular and the wood would try to kick the tool away. We're going to start at about a thousand RPM. Hopefully that's not shaking things around too, too much. And we're going to address the tool to the wood nice and gently to start. Okay, we're starting to see that wing shake come into play here. The bowl needs to be reduced a little bit further to get rid of that bark. We're going to use a 40-40 grind gouge to set a tenon then refine the shape of the bowl and refine the shape of the wing. Then we'll give her one last sharpen to give a good clean cut on each. Not sure if you can tell by the video, but I'm trying to create a very, very gentle curve in the wing. So we're going to take one last nice clean cut after we sharpen the gouge. I switched out to my 6 inch tool rest to give me a little more room in that tight space. I'm just checking the curve of the wing with a straight edge. Sometimes it's kind of hard to eyeball when you're using bark like this. 
But when you put a straight edge up there, it'll kind of show you right away if you're on track. I'm just going to switch back to the swept back grind to do some shear scraping to guarantee we have no more tool marks left. There, a little extra time with the tool can save a lot of time sanding. Just going to do a little bit of shear scraping with the 40-40 grind, then we'll clean up the bottom of the tenon and we can flip it around in the chuck. Now that we have the piece reversed in the chuck, we can start setting an even thickness to the wings following the contour of the underside. But before we do that, I'm going to take a pair of dividers and mark where the rim of the bowl is going to protrude through the wings. Now on the underside where the bowl is meeting the wings, the bowl's walls are becoming quite vertical, but they're still opening up a little bit. So I'm going to mark the top side rim at least an eighth of an inch larger than that, so that I leave enough wood for that rim while I'm setting the thickness to the wings. Now we can only work about an inch or two at a time as we go because as it gets thinner and thinner it loses support and the wood could vibrate against the tool and you can't get a good cut at that point. So we just have to set the wall thickness little piece by little piece including any shear scraping. It has to be done as we go. Now I just need to set the rim and hollow out the bowl. I'm just sighting down the blank to try to match that rim up to the bowl. I think that's about it. After moving the camera angle around, I decided to take two more little micro cuts on this rim just to get it a little bit more in line with the bowl. So now all we have to do is hollow out the bowl. First I'm going to set the rim. I'm going to have the rim kind of angle inwards a little bit, kind of make it more inviting.
I'm gonna go sharpen up the tool again and I'm gonna relieve the heel so I can make that turn around the bottom a little bit easier. Freshly sharpened gouge, heel relieved. Let's make some nice clean cuts. I'm going to start switching over to a bottom feeder bowl gouge so I can make that turn a little bit easier. There we go. Beautiful. We're all finished turning our natural edged wing bowl. My moisture meter has told me that it's registering about 13% moisture content still. So I'm going to pack it away in a paper bag for a good couple months until it gets below 8%. And that's when I can start sanding and finishing it. But I'll still include some photos of the bowl at the end of the video of what it looks like today. The wood was pretty nice to work with, although I had some issues getting really good clean cuts in a couple areas, so I have my work cut out for me when sanding comes around. But other than that, it was a pretty fun project. But if you liked the video, please click the like button and share it around. If you have any questions or suggestions for me, please fire those off in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'll have a new video out every Friday. Thank you very much, and have a great day.